You're watching News Leader 9 with Cheryl Renee and meteorologist Greg Majeski. We're going to Eufaula today thanks to our Alpha Insurance Sky Cam at Alabama Power. Temperature there, there 89 degrees. You can see the flag bit, there waving just a little bit. <laughs> Sunshine is out. Not much relief, especially when you factor in that heat index, that humidity. The heat index center is 95 right now, wow. so it is just plenty hot. And uh, folks, just a reminder, as you're getting that time of season, you know, just make sure if you're going to be outside for length of time, just stay hydrated. Do not get yourself dehydrated. And, right. Uh, you know, if you start feeling a little lightheaded, go inside, cool off. You know the drill. That's right. You lived in the South your whole life, so you know what you're supposed to do. <laughs> you know what you're supposed to do. That's exactly. right. All right, let's go take a look right now what's trending with that forecast for today as we're dealing with another steamy day ahead and uh, you know, stay that way really for the whole week. Limited storm chances, so not much in the way of relief there in the form of afternoon showers and thunderstorms, although that may increase a little bit as we head toward the weekend. We'll show you that here on the seven day in just a second. As we take a look right now at the Live Double Nine Radar Network, just as one little itty bitty shower here trying to form up here, uh, moving up toward uh, just the north of Chambers into Randolph County. And a little, little shower looks like near maybe Douglas County up near Atlanta. But other than that, nothing in our immediate area just yet, but hopefully a few of us will get a chance to cool off a little bit with an afternoon shower thunderstorm later today. Current temperatures, 89 degrees already in Columbus, 90 officially in Eufaula, 91 in Alexander City. Everybody once again expected to shoot up into the 90s for this afternoon. Elsewhere across the southeast, about 88 degrees in Huntsville, 89 in Montgomery, 86 in Vidalia, and 87 in Greenville. So a lot of heat building all across the southeast. Compliments to high pressure, nothing in our immediate area. Just a few showers down along the coastal areas across Louisiana and Texas. Other than that, looking pretty quiet all across the southeast for right now. No major storm systems to worry about. Looking at future cast, kick this into motion for you again. Isolated shower or two, not out of the question for today. Perhaps a rumble of thunder, and we'll do it again for tomorrow. Again, very spotty. Nothing that's going to be too widespread across the region. And heading into Thursday, more of the same with scattered showers and thunderstorms. Looks like maybe a, a more pronounced sea breeze may activity may kick in out of the Florida panhandle heading into Thursday. We'll see if that materializes or not. If that does, that you will usually enhance the rain, at least for our southern portions of our reviewing area, so we'll see if that works out. All right, here we go. As we take a look at right now at the forecast for today, looking at partly cloudy skies, only an isolated chance of a shower or thunderstorm here, here in Columbus with a high right around 93 degrees. Elsewhere, starting up toward the north, we'll see here 93 in Lafayette, 93 in LaGrange, 91 in Thomason for today. On further south, checking out the other locations, uh, Auburn at 92, 94 in Pittsview, and 92 in Buena Vista. And down to the south, how's feeling up for today? Another hot one, 93 degrees in Eufaula. Some of these areas, I think this might be a little underdone, just so seeing how warm we're already, already at. Might sneak into the mid-90s, around 95 or so. We'll see if that works out. The next seven days, staying steamy, as we're expecting. 94 degrees for Wednesday and Thursday. Only an isolated chance of a shower or thunderstorm each day. Temperatures in the low 70s, and yeah, flirting with 90 95 even here in Columbus heading into Friday and then the rain chance might start come up to about 30 percent maybe 40 percent heading into early next week maybe a little more coverage area there but we're very fortunate we've had a wet relatively wet spring soil moisture mm -hmm. is not that bad because if we've been in drought conditions I think these temperatures are probably increasing we're really in the middle to upper into, 90s yeah so right. that soil this, moisture this early on in yes, the summertime it sure does all right mm -hmm. thank you so much Greg.